comes the debris. And now I'm headed back up toward Flagstaff. Looks like very heavy rain producing storms are moving in toward the San Francisco peaks once again. This could be the biggest flood yet. This one has grown up to the top of the atmosphere up near the tropopause and is now spreading out in the form of super cold water and ice crystals. That's the anvil of this new storm and probably in less than an hour, this will mature into a very heavy rain producing storm capable of producing life threatening flash floods. already see structure on it, even a little bit of a wall cloud on this thing. Tail cloud on it as well. That shows warm, moist inflow into this storm complex. We've already got local runoff here in Flagstaff. Both burn scars have now been warned. It could be an absolute catastrophe here in Flagstaff. And we are closing in. That's the uh, creek right there that's gonna flood. Big debris flow is gonna be coming down that. And my plan is to get it further up and then run along this trail to intercept it. The rain has moved out of the area, but the damage has already been done. That's why these are so dangerous too. After the storms move by and the rain starts to subside, a lot of people think that they're in the clear from these flash floods. But then about 30 minutes later, sometimes even hours later, then the life-threatening flash flood can arrive. And that's why these are so dangerous because of that time buffer that happens between when the rain falls and when the flood comes through. So you always gotta go over your exit strategy to be safe around these life-threatening flash floods. And my plan is to retreat uphill, right up there, out of the flood zone when I need to. But right now I'm trying to use all my senses. I'm trying to listen for the flood. I'm feeling even a little bit of some outflow that's coming down here. And you can even see a little bit of some fog over the valley. Could be a sign of some cold outflow. A lot of times ahead of these floods, you'll get some very cold air, almost like evaporational cooling that precedes the front wall of the flood. I think I can hear it actually. I can start to hear that waterfall sound upstream. There it comes, folks. There it comes. Yep, big sticks coming. Of the initial flow. Just get started. Coming out the bridge car. Here it comes. Get bigger. Gonna be a big one, folks. Not a very sharp plug on it. Got a major debris flow. You can see debris right there. This is Schultz Creek. Burn scar continues to increase in size. Look at all the jet black organic matter here that's coming downstream Schultz Creek, and this is going to absolutely flood the north side of Flagstaff. There's the debris flow and all of this is flowing toward downtown Flagstaff. Likely going to close many roads down there. Many homes are going to get flooded out. Very substantial debris flow here and flash flood as expected.
So this is Fort Valley Road in Flagstaff below Schultz Creek and the flood has actually closed this entire road. This time the flood has washed all the way over the road, continued down the road uh, toward the Rio de Flag. That's the main river here in Flagstaff and that's where that flood wants to go. But it has closed down the north side of Flagstaff. An absolute disaster here once again. Even worse this time where Schultz Creek passes under the road. So now come in the trucks that are gonna pump the water out of this neighborhood. This is the debris flow. It is now flowing into the neighborhood. You can see sandbags out here to try to protect the vehicle. And this is what it takes to try to prevent the severe damage from this flood. 